Shea Bear 1000 here with me behind the camera. Monkey 1000. Okay, so we're going to make a little frying pan out of that thing there. Now we're outside, so the lighting's going to kind of be horrible. Just bear with me, you know. So let's make a frying pan out of this can. Okay guys, now I have made these before and I seen somebody on YouTube making one. A monkey says, you should make one of them. And I said, well, I made millions. But she said, but did you ever make one for YouTube? And I said, no. As you can tell, there's ridges right here from here to there. I'll show that to you. Okay, because that's because monkey started opening the can. And I was like, no, that's part of the video. I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything like that. We paid for this. Now, I'm going to show you the pros and cons about this thing. What we're going to do with it, all that jazz. All right. But there's something, there's something here. I'm going to try to use this as a handle. But... I think it may be too heavy we'll just have to see okay so the first thing we're going to do is open this up which monkey has already started okay now if you're going to want a lid for your fry pan you won't want to cut it just like we did with one of these cutters that cut here if you don't care about it you can use a regular cutter okay or regular can opener all right this is going to be a lid though we're going to make this a lid now we're going to pour this in a pan oh heavy now this is a big a big can of green beans it's and I just cut through the weight <laughs> okay it's six pounds five ounce can right, there it is the 101 ounces that's what we're using here I think it's a they call it a number 10 pan or number 10 can okay let's move this yeah I'm gonna take this inside okay we're gonna we're gonna eat them oh and I'm going to go in and rinse this out or have monkey rinse it out for me because what we're going to do is we're going to cut this right here at this bottom actually we're going to go one up from the bottom this rib here second one up because we're going to fold this over so it doesn't so it's not going to be so we're going to be cutting it right here and fold this over so that way we're not going to have a real sharp lip around there okay so let's get this rinsed out We'll talk about some other things here now when I cut it I'm, I'm gonna use this thing okay you can use whatever kind of cutter you want but I'm just gonna use that that cutter there hopefully this is not gonna be too heavy for our handle it feels kind of heavy but hopefully with this down here it won't it won't flip it but we'll, we'll just have to see okay now what because I wanted a kind of a long handle because this is gonna be for uh camping purposes or whatever okay so hang tight let's get this rinsed out we'll move on to step two okay so now like i said we're going to go ahead and cut this right there okay so this is going to be loud so i'll fast forward you through this i would suggest wearing gloves but i do not have a pair of gloves that i can find <laughs> so but i am going to wear eye protection these are um, actual, they're reading glasses that are eye protection too. Actually, that's bullshit. Yep. Now, bye bye monetization on this one. Okay, so here we go. Second rib up from the bottom. You need help to hold on to it? If you want. As long as you don't bite me, I'll be all right. Here, let me put my glasses on. There we go. Safety. 
You got your glasses on? Yep. All right. All right, now, as you can see, it's not a very straight cut. That's okay, I'll straighten it up, but I'm gonna cut some notches down through here so we can bend them tabs over, so let's get to that. Okay, so you're gonna end up with something like this. Now you can use shears if you got them. I'm just using that, because it's faster. And then you're just gonna bend these over down inside, okay? So what I got here to do that with is these things here. And we're gonna try to bend these down. So it looks okay. It's not gonna be perfect. It doesn't have to be, okay? but it's just stuff we got laying around the house. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start bending them down as straight as I can get them. And then we'll paint them over. Okay, so now these don't have to be this long. Okay, you can make them shorter. And if you want, you know, if you got the time to mess around with it and really make it nice, Get you some JB Weld, and which I have some, but I don't have. I'm not going to spend because you got to let that stuff set up for 24 hours, and you can go around here and make this all nice and pretty and smooth, and it won't hurt a thing. So, see, mine's not perfect either, so don't be alarmed. It's just a camping thing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in here. I think we want to go right through here because that seems like the sturdiest part but I still think that this handle may be too heavy yeah it might be all right once you get eggs and stuff in there yeah okay so we're going to drill a hole here right through here we're going to do a starter hole first We're just going to, right, let's say right about there. Be careful, guys. Wait a minute. Thank you, monkey. You're Monkey's helping me today. You guys see that? brought my center punch but I didn't all right there's also an alternative motive for that piece of wood too right monk yeah monkey knows what it's going to be she's going to make it right monk nope and then I just got one of these step bits because it comes from a different father step bits ha ha right. comes from a different father the problem with these step bits is they're hard to get to take a hold, but once they do, they're great. Now, let's make sure we don't go too humongous on it. There we go, that's perfect, all right? Now, I'm gonna back this off just a little bit. Put that in there. Jeez, that's easy. About right. <laughs> That's easy, huh? Yeah. Now, like I said, this is stuff we've got laying around. Yeah. But the thing of it is, is I'm going to flash across the screen right now of something you can buy similar online.
Now, if you don't have this stuff laying around, like we didn't have this, how much was this can of? It's like four eighty nine. Yeah, so let's say five bucks there, and then if you got to go buy this stuff, and I mean, why would you do that, right? In fact, if you saw the price of these things, we actually got too much in it right now. Although we are going to eat the green beans, yeah. but the point is, is the other stuff is just things I've had laying around. So now. I chose this as my handle because now I can hang it up with something which I have but I forgot to bring it out but you can put your little hook there and you can hang it off a tree or whatever and there you go and then when you get done using it you just take your little nut off and there you go okay now this is going to be our lid see that's cute that's going to be our lid which we're going to make next out of this monkey's old project here so all right no it didn't work out but that's okay yep. right yep. did i say lid this is going to be our handle for our lid so what i'm uh, i'm just going to cut this in half with my grinder there then i'm just going to round it a little bit ow something's biting me the fucking spider well, spiders don't bite. Just got bit. All right, so anyway. You all right? Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to cut this. Just make a little handle. And we're going to put a hole in the center of this somewhere. In the center. And we got a screw and screwdriver here. And I'll pre-drill this so it don't split. And we're just going to run a screw up in it. So let me do that for you right now. So all I did was just cut the ends of these off, this off. So now, there's our little nubbin. All right, so we're gonna pre-drill this. What you looking at, Monk? I'm making sure you're recording. Am I recording? I don't know. Does it say record yeah. in red letters? Mm -hmm. Then safe assumption that it's probably recording. Okay, so now we gotta change this bit back over to this bit, this little one here, so we don't split our wood because you know we're talking about. Nothing but class here, ladies and gentlemen. Dead center, thereabouts. Wow, that's pretty close for eyeballing it. Mm -hmm. All right, same way with this. Dead center, thereabouts. Now, if you want to make these and really get them looking nice, of course, you would make sure you're dead center and all that. But that's not what the video is about, right, Mama? Now we're just going to put our little deal on here. Hopefully it won't split. You're up too, huh? Hmm? There you go. Okay, guys. Even Mr. Shea Bear messes up once in a while. Hopefully I don't split this piece of wood. Whoops. Or hit the camera too many times. Now, if we would have just cut these off instead of bending them over, that would have fit perfectly. But then you got a sharp edge. And nobody wants a sharp edge wanting to hurt you out in the middle of the wilderness, right? In our case, the backyard, but there's our little lid, Monk. Cute. Yeah, see? There, okay, now, you guys can save this. Okay, do the same thing, make this so it's not sharp, 
and you can put holes in here and you now have a stove yeah could use as a hurricane thing yeah you could mm -hmm. hopefully this will work but we're not now this is a lining we have to burn this out so what we're going to do is we're going to get a stove we bought and we'll set it on the stove hopefully it won't be too heavy the handle won't be too heavy but it might be well maybe not let me go get my stove and we'll get it fired up and we'll burn this out i'll show you how to burn it out it's real easy okay sorry about the wind we're going to try this out here in just a second but first i got one of these hooks that come with those shop lights you buy that hang i'm just going to stick that in there like that give it a little squeeze Now I got my, now I got my pot hanger. Do do do. Okay. <clears throat> we got some of this stuff. Heat indicator. Smart can. Why does everything gotta be smart? Oh, it's so smart on it. I gotta buy it. Okay, so now this is vintage. Yeah. Has been used. So it's kind of like a review slash project. I'm not sure how to set this up here. I think it goes like this. Oh, well, let's look at the box. Hmm. Well, there's no instructions. That's why I wasn't reading the instructions. It doesn't tell you, but you can kind of look there. Okay. Like you had it, just... This is made by Sterno cook stove number 33. Yep. It's probably why that's bent down like that because. Yep. Got that one in there. There you go. There we go, just like that. Now, got a little door. Go like that. But first, we need to see if my handle is going to be too heavy. No, it's not. So that's cool. Alright. Now, we're going to take the lid off of this. Oops. There we That is gel in there okay so we're gonna light this up why are you jumping back because you like to blow up I don't like to blow up it just happens okay there it is now I feel that I'm gonna leave the door open for a minute Ooh, yeah okay. now we're gonna set this on here see what it's doing there Oh wow, it, got, it moves quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. That's cool. And you want to want to keep doing that, move it around until there's no more smoke, okay? So we're going to do that for the whole pan, all right? So I'll be back with you when this is done. You can see what it starts looking like. Okay, intermission while we're doing that. Okay, we're going to come over here. Now, there's supposed to be green beans here. Of course, they didn't make it. And there's supposed to be three different kinds of tomatoes here. Now, they didn't make it because over in here, monkey planted cucumbers. Yeah, that's how I did. <laughs> so, there's one. And you can see it's got a little tail on it. There's another one. She wanted to have pickles. <laughs> Okay, and we got one up here. 
that's coming out right there that little guy there but back in here <laughs> A pretty good sized cucumber there so that's why I didn't do a garden update videos this year because well she wanted to do it this way and I wanted her to have it vining on the ground but she seen some guy on YouTube that swears this will work well not only didn't it work uh, so we got three maybe four possible cucumbers so and it's vining clear to hell eight feet up into this vine <laughs> so next year we're going to put them on the ground i'll show her how to make big ones by cutting the suckers off oh there's another baby one there so we're just going to let it do its thing this year we'll get what we can off of it and then next year i'll plant it down in that low spot so it can get plenty of water and vine that way and vine this way so that'll be cool Okay guys, if you notice right over there, we got the big Coleman stove out. That's because it was a lot faster to get this done than this thing. Now, this thing's working good so far, but still. So, you're going to want to let this go until it'll turn black, and then it'll get silver again. Once it does that, then you're ready. While it's still hot, put a little bit of oil in here. And what we're going what we're doing is we want to spread this oil around and we're seasoning the skillet okay so you can see right there where the oil goes see the dark spots that's what we're doing we're going to season this and I'm going to let this get real warm for a couple minutes and then how do I have that go now once this gets warm I'm gonna dump this oil out and then we're gonna fry up a couple eggs in here so stick around we're almost there okay guys so now we're gonna put a little bit more oil in here we're gonna cook a couple eggs oh, it's sizzling. <laughs> yeah it's sizzling on And I'm done some woodland. I carved the handle by hand, but this I used the grinder on, so. Alright. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna let our eggs cook. See how well it does. Okay, now as you can see, the middle part is kinda higher in the bottom. So what you might want to do before you start using this thing is push that bottom down, you know what I mean, and make it more of a dome shape this way. I kind of forgot to do that, but to see all the oils wanting to go, wanting to go down to the sides. So, but yeah, you can try to try to finagle that, but it is working. level my level my skillet up there so maybe up here a little bit closer but they are frying so that's pretty cool okay so I decided to put the lid on keep some of that heat in and that's helping already so it is kind of windy out which it, I think it would do much better on that stove. I think it's more like for, you know, boiling water and whatnot. There we go. So yeah, it's getting there. But it's stuck because like I said, all the oil ran down to the sides. So let's turn it this way. It seemed like it was hotter over here. Put the lid on a little bit longer. So, yeah, I mean, it's a cute little, cute little project. 
Will I use it? I don't know. Maybe. But, I mean, wouldn't be feasible for me because I eat like four to six eggs. Yeah. But, you know, I mean. In a pickle? Huh? Maybe? In a pickle? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, we were out somewhere. And we oh, if there. you were in a pickle. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's... Um, that's working pretty good. Yeah. Well, it's not really sticking per se. No. No. I see it moving. That lid stays on there pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And she likes the color of that lid the way it turned out when we burned everything off of it. Yeah. So, let's see. Let's see if I can flip these. Mm. Mm. Not much of a spatula here, guys, but it's what I had. Should have made two and put them together. Yeah. See, this egg's getting more done than that egg. Yeah. But I think it has a lot to do with, the you burner. know, yeah, the burner. Now you're not gonna do any fancy flipping with this thing, guys. No. No. But. If I had a regular spatula. Spatula. Mm -hmm. Somebody commented one time. I called it a spatula. It's spatula. Duh. And then they misspelled it to their own damn self. <laughs> so, well, you done misspelled it, so, you know, I mean, who cares? It's, you know? Spatula. Doesn't matter. Spatula, spatula, pancake spatula. turner, flipper. Well, I have called it flipper. Flip it. I've been a chef for 30 some years. I'm like, and you can't even spell your major tool. One of your most tool used tools, you can't even spell it, but you're telling me how to say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So. But yeah, like I said, push that bottom down, get it, you know, but that egg's already broke. Yeah, make it scramble. But, you know, like I said, I just carved this, so, out of a thin piece of, I mean, sorry. There. These are going to be Bruno's eggs anyway. Yeah. So, because Monkey had eggs this morning, and I'm not hungry. She said, put some hot dogs on there. I'm like, I don't know, because usually hot dogs, you're cooking them over a fire or you know, in a regular pan. This is a skillet, so. All right, so, let's dump it down in here in Bruno's feed dish. Well, his treat feed dish. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to taste it, though. Right? All right, well, let's give it, let's give us a taste here. You gonna taste it, Monk? Yeah. All right, so monkey's gonna give it a shot here. You want the yolk or the white? Oh, I'll just eat whatever. Here's this. Hang on, get it up here. All right. Ready? Yep. All right. Just tastes like an egg? Mm -hmm. Good, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. You don't want no weird flavors out of it. So, yeah, that's fine. Let me try a little taste of this. Hot. Yeah, it is. Very hot. Yep, tastes just like an egg. Mm -hmm. Then you can clean this out and oil it up. Once you wash it out and everything, you just oil it up and it won't rust. And like I said, get that bottom down. Maybe once you get it hot, 
you put something heavy inside there and it'll keep that dish going right but yeah i mean there it is guys so now our final thoughts on it okay guys so our skillet with our lid I mean, is it is it feasible to go buy the stuff for this nope I mean this just for the can alone was five bucks you saw what you can buy them for new now if you have this stuff laying around right or is it worth it just to uh, just to build one yourself and customize and make it real nice then yes it's worth it but just to build one to take out and use it's it's you're better off just to go buy one right or you know order one online but like i said if you want to build one really make it nice so you can say wow look and you know your friends impress your friends because they will they'll be like where'd you get this and you can tell them that they can't buy it anywhere unless they buy it off of you because you made it then okay but i mean like this rod here i don't know what they're costing now but i remember giving you know three and four dollars for this rod here you know and then you got your nuts and so this is stainless to this rod um, but um, just to build one to crude like this to use no it's not feasible to do it just buy one but like I said if you want to build one just for fun with your kids in the backyard or in your garage yeah it's great for that and then you can personalize it make it really super nice you know around the edges and stuff <laughs> yeah does it work good yeah i think it works great so anyway there you go what do you think monk i like it like i said i've built them before um i've used wooden handles but the problem with them after a while like this lid after a while you know that starts getting hot <laughs> you have to keep tightening that screw after a while because wood does burn and another thing about a, a wooden handle is if you're over a fire, you gotta be careful of that. That's why I made this one metal. Right. So the flames licking up, they may get it may get a little hot, but this didn't get hot at all on this. But if you're doing it over a fire and you got flames licking up here, be careful, it probably will get hot. But the way this is right now, what I can do is take them nuts <laughs> off of there, take them nuts off of there, and put me a piece of um, shrink tube on here. Out up to here and then if anything it'll just even shrink more and you have a nice little black plastic type rubber type handle on it well, that's a good idea yeah. yeah so there's that but is it fun the main thing it is fun and then like I said you you can you can make your own little stove your little hobo stove out of this you know uh, make that not so sharp and everything and put you a couple holes couple little rods in there or if you got some welding rods laying around coat hangers I've used them to make it so you can set your pot you know a little pot on, on there and you can feed your sticks uh, there's no bottom but that's okay I mean just set it on a rock or something or someplace where it's not going to catch on catch the woods on fire uh, <laughs> yeah, you okay. went in the house to get stuff and I came back out to this <laughs> so that might be another project for us there you go monkey and i will make a little hobo stove how's that monk yeah you're hobo. to go with well think about it. i know i'm a hobo but think <laughs> about it that'd be cool our skillet yep. and our lid mm -hmm. and the stove made out of the same thing so now like i say you may have this stuff or you know you can find them right. you know maybe in <laughs> the garbage i don't know but you know um yeah it's just what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this back up and I'm going to set something kind of heavy in the center of that so it doesn't dish up as much. But yeah, I mean, it, it worked. It really worked. Mm -hmm. So, cute. 
There you go. What do you think, Monk? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. All right. She gets silver. One thumbs up? Uh, five thumbs. Five thumbs? Yeah. You got a lot of friends? Yeah. Okay. Well, I give it two thumbs up because it is fun. It's easy. And you can do whatever you want with it to make it yours. And uh, But but if you just just want one for camp and just... You know, right. It's And it took time because the longest part was heating that up until i mean this this little my little uh sterno stove here did okay to burn the stuff off but then once it's black that stuff's still there yeah so you want to keep burning it until it turns silver again right that's what took longer so that's why i got the other yeah, coleman it took stove a while out. too yeah yeah that's why i took the other you know now if you put it in fire it won't take that long right. you can do that too but so anyway guys there's a fun little project for you, outdoor stuff, bushcraft. Yeah. And if you're going to make one of these, make it wider. <laughs> but I just thought, what the heck, you know, we're out here, let's do a little bushcrafting. So, <laughs> but I could cut notches there with my knife and you could have a little fork. Yeah. Yep. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Shaber and Myth Man Legend, gone for now, monkey. Make a up for now, y'all. Stay tuned, we'll build a stove out of that. Cool. Cool. All right. Bye, guys. Take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend.